outfitters. Um, we wanted to do kind of a quick video on assembly of our newest product, this Tuscan Open Fire Grill Kit. When we break it down, we break down the entire grill so the legs are no longer bolted to the base on both sides. The support um, brackets here are removed as well as the pull block bearings and these two, the, the crank wheel and the uh, lock collar. What you'll receive in the box when you open it up, you'll see the legs up underneath this grill grate right here with the two support brackets and then this assembly sitting on top. And I'll just kind of quickly go over because it's really easy to assemble. So if you come in here and look, your lock collar or your lock arm, you have the 3 16 bolt with a washer and then a washer in between, a washer on the outside, and you put the locking nut here and you tighten it down so it doesn't wobble too much, but it's able to rotate freely. And what that does is that provides automatic locking when you crank it up and down and then you just release it to make it come back down. Um, there is no assembly down here. So bringing this up, your legs are just simply bolted right here. And you put the bolt washer and then lock, locking washer back here with your nut on there and tighten it down. So when you get your base done, come up here to the top these wire ropes are already going to be installed on your axle. Take your bearings and loosely attach them with this structure right here to right here. Just loosely attach it. And then you want to take the axle, put it in at this end, and then slide it through the other end. And once you get it in, if you look right here, your axle should be flush to the bearing and you tighten down these two set screws to lock it in place. Once you get that locked in place on both sides, this assembly right here, the two bolts on both sides, they're meant to where you can push the legs in. So if you see right here on this particular grill, see how we got that space? The way you would take that space up is loosening these up and then push the leg in, you know, maybe a half an inch or so until you, do, until you have the amount of play you want right here. The, uh, on the, the lock collar, what I like to do is, is lower the cooking grate all the way down, and then I'll set the lock collar so that the, the wire rope right here puts just enough pressure to keep the crank wheel head nice and level. And so like right there, you can see how it's pulling it back. And all I do is I just put the lock collar up against the handle here so it has pressure. And then you come in here and you just tighten the, the star down to the axle. Now on the, the head, with this, with this particular collar removed, you're gonna slide it in place, and then you're gonna see two cut halves. It's cut, it's slotted, and see if we can get it all right there, you can see it. You wanna line this piece of the collar up with that, so when you tighten it down, it compresses on the axle. That's pretty much it. I mean, it shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes to put it up. Um, like I said, it's, it's fabricated out of 316 steel plate or 304 stainless steel. They're built really well. Makes an awesome grill for your backyard. Have fun cooking on it. Uh, thanks for looking at our video. If you got any questions on assembly, give us a call at the shop, 520-622-8335.